In this video, let us solve another problem based on the construction of tangents to a circle from an external point when its center is known. The question is like this. Draw a pair of tangents to a circle of radius 5 cm which are inclined to each other at an angle of 60 degrees. Now in one of the previous videos, we've drawn just two angles from an external point P when the center of the circle is known. But in this case, those two tangents should be inclined at an angle of 60 degrees to each other. So let's see how do we go about solving this problem. The data given is the radius of the circle being 5 cm and the angle of 60 degrees in which the two tangents are to be inclined to each other. So the first step is to take a point O on the plane of the paper and draw a circle of radius OA equals 5 centimeters. So let's take 5 centimeters on the compass using a ruler. So here it is. Now construct a circle with radius 5 centimeters. This is the point O. Now, this is point O and let's say, let's draw a line segment. So this is point A. The next step is to produce OA to B such that OA equals AB equals 5 centimeters. So we need to produce this OA to B such that it is equal to 5 centimeters. So here we have B. So AB equals 5 centimeters and OA also equals to 5 centimeters. The next step is now taking A as the center, draw a circle of radius 5 centimeters. So taking A as the center, draw a circle of radius AB or OB. So here we have So now the next step is, now suppose it cuts the circle drawn in step 1 at P and Q. Let's say, let's take this as P and let's take this as Q. Now join BP and BQ and get the desired tangents, that's all. So all we have to do is join BP and BQ. BP and BQ. Let's measure if this is equal to a 60 degrees. So let's let's measure it's exactly 60 degrees. Now, how did we get 60 degrees? That's a big question here. So how did we get 60 degrees between these two tangents? Now let's see how we got that. Now in triangle OAP, OAP, we have OA equal to OP, which is equal to 5 centimeters, right? So we have OA, which is equal to OP. So let's draw OP here. So this is going to be 5 centimeters because it is the radius of the circle. So we have 5 centimeters. Now, AP equal to 5 cm, that's because this is the radius of the circle with center A, right? We are not talking about the cent this circle here, we are talking about this circle now. So if you draw AP, this is also going to be 5 cm because this is the radius of this circle. So this is going to be 5 cm, this is going to be 5 cm. Therefore, this becomes an equilateral triangle. And we know that the angles in an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and 60. Now that we've got 60 degrees here, this angle becomes the external angle or say these are the angles on a straight line. There are two ways in which you can find this angle. So let me take this simple way. These are the angles on a straight line. So 60 plus what gives you 180? This is 120 degrees. 
because the sum of the angles on a straight line equals 180 degrees. So now we have BA also as 5 centimeters, AP also as 5 centimeters. That makes APB an isosceles triangle. So if that makes APB an isosceles triangle, then these two angles, that is the angles opposite to equal sides, are equal. So if this is 120, the remaining angle should be 60 degrees. 180 minus 120 is 60. 60 split equally between this and this gives you 30 here and 30 here. So if this is 30, so this will definitely be 30. So 30 plus 30 makes 60 degrees. But before we conclude this as 30 degrees, let me explain how we got that as 30 degrees. So take the triangle BOQ, join OQ and AQ. Now if you look at OA and OQ, they are the radii of the same circle and so they're going to be equal to each other, that is 5 centimeters each. And now join AQ. AQ is nothing but the radius of the other circle. Now the radius of the other circle is also 5 centimeters. So the triangle AOQ is an equilateral triangle because all the sides of the triangle AOQ measure 5 centimeters. So now you know that the angles in an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees. So once you get the triangle AOQ, just follow the same steps as we did in the triangle BPO and eventually obtain the angle OBQ as 30 degrees. And once you obtain the angle OBQ as 30 degrees, you add 30 and 30, which gives us 60 degrees. And that's how we measure 60 degrees between the two tangents that we've drawn. Now, let's take triangle BAP, the triangle BAP, we have a BA equals to AP, so hence we've got the tangents which measure 60 degrees between them.